Hi everyone, this is Jason. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Libra. Stay tuned. In 2019, Facebook announced that they would be releasing a cryptocurrency. Originally, this cryptocurrency was known as Global Coin, but has since been rebranded Libra and is built on the Libra blockchain. The Libra blockchain is a permissioned blockchain. Unlike the public blockchain, which is open to everyone, the permission blockchain places limits on who can transact on the chain and who can read the ledger. Libra is backed by real world assets, making it a stable coin. The Libra stablecoin is backed by an assortment of bank deposits and short-term government securities that are held in reserve for every Libra created. Libra's founding member group, also known as the Libra Association, is a who's who of tech and finance, including MasterCard, Uber, Coinbase, PayPal, Spotify, eBay, Visa, Lyft, Stripe, Facebook, Ribbit Capital, Thrive Capital, Kila, Creative Destructive Labs, among others. Facebook has been working on Libra for over a year. It utilizes smart contract technology and is backed by real world assets. What we don't know is how much of a role Facebook itself will play in the governance of Libra and how much control will Facebook have over transactions, wallets, and potential sales of the Libra stablecoin. The white paper claims that Libra is decentralized. If that is true, and how much is yet to be determined. Other cryptocurrencies have claimed the same. It is unlikely that Libra is decentralized beyond the number of servers Facebook will utilize to store the data. Hurdles are already emerging. For example, US Representative Maxine Waters and others have already called for investigating Libra in this role in finance and as a currency. Libra is going to bring more attention to crypto. How much remains to be seen. Hopefully, Libra will give people the chance to see the difference in ability between a permissionless blockchain cryptocurrency like Bitcoin versus a permission blockchain cryptocurrency stablecoin like Libra. Being that Libra is a stablecoin, it is not likely to challenge Bitcoin, but will challenge the other stablecoins on the market such as TUSD, USDT, and USDC. Whether or not the average person uses Libra remains to be seen. The blockchain, on the other hand, will be embraced by tech and business, similar to the way Amazon's AWS was, and more platforms will be built on top of this. If Libra proves successful, you can be assured that Amazon, Google, and others will follow suit. Time will tell. The white paper claims to want to move away from a permission blockchain to a permissionless blockchain. But with so much corporate and financial institutional involvement, is that even possible? Stay tuned. 